All right, so I won the die roll. I am going to play first. This hand's fine, for sure. No mulligan. We're going to just uh, jam out the Delver here and see where that takes us. Hmm. Probably a good thing against Stompy or Elves. Not sure which he is yet. Um, unfortunately for me, the Delver did not flip. I'm going to save the uh, leave up mana for miscalculation. Not sure what he is exactly yet, but could be correct that uh, we want to miscalculate his first play. Which, if it's like a Skark and Pitskulk, I will certainly miscalculate. Another Skark and Pitskulk is rather unfortunate. But I got an exclude, so that's pretty sweet. Um, I guess we're going to start beating down now. Uh, I want to be able to exclude a second creature, although I don't think he's going to throw one out there and to exclude mana. We'll see. Ooh, Rancor. Rancor's bad for me. I'm really not winning this race. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Piracy Charm his Quarian Ranger now. That makes him use a protection spell on it. Possibly. And I don't take the combat damage for it. From his pump spell, I mean. Well, that hurts. All right, so I need a repeal or a repulse, like, now. Hmm. <coughs> Miscalculation's not going to do it, but I can beat down. Um, yeah, we're just going to pass the turn. I think it's worth it to bluff, even though I'm pretty sure he's just going to go for the Rancor anyway. Yeah. There could have been a line there where he didn't uh, do that, and then I was in a really good shape. So I'm cycling the miscalculation now, trying to get a repeal or a repulse to save my butt, but uh, let's cycle it again. Um, nope, it's done. That's game. Okay, so against Stompy, we're going to bring in basically almost the entire sideboard. Uh, so Coast Watchers for sure. Serrated Arrows for sure. Uh, and do I want Curse of Chains? I think I do. Not sure there. No, Curse of Chains is not very good against Quarian Ranger. Alright, so Repulse is probably a little bit too slow on the draw. It's not really going to do anything to save me there. And, uh, I think Twice is probably going to come out. Um, Una's Grace as well. And then probably just a single Piracy Charm, I think. No, I like Piracy, Piracy Charm with Straight Arrows combo. Maybe I'll just take out a CK Oracle on the draw. Yeah, let's try that. I do want to play first. Alright, this is this hand's fine. No mulligan. 
We'll go uh, Delver into Coast Watcher, probably. Maybe another Delver, not sure. thought for a little bit and decided to mulligan but he kept his six so yep leading off the delver depending on what I draw I might play another delver vault scourge really okay well if you insist on playing bad cards I guess I'll let you all right no delver there no flip from the delver so let's play two more delvers see if we can't get one to flip if one flips, they all flip, and then I'm in really good shape. You know, Rancor is really not that scary. Kind of sucks he has that lifelink thing going on right now, but... Alrighty, so yield to him. No! That's so annoying. Um, alright. So then it is just a Coast Watcher, and... We'll ship the turn back. I would really like Delvers to flip next turn. Obviously not blocking the, the Vault Scourge with the Coast Watcher, because Vault Scourge is black. Sure, Hornet Sting. Flip. Flip Delvers. Yes. Yes. So the Delvers get to flip, and I get to play Serrated Arrows and kill his Volt Scourge. Uh, I feel pretty good. So he's on a three turn clock now. And I have a counter spell after next turn. I think I'm good. And he has no other plays. That's strange. Maybe he just has a few hornet stings. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. He's got to have something, right? Okay, so... I think I was good, especially now that I know he has vault scourges that he left in. I can leave him the piracy charms. For sure. Um... No, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I think that would have worked fine. Maybe I'm going to exclude out. Nah, we'll just leave it. Hmm. What does his hand really do? I don't think his hand really does much, but I can preordain. I've got double preordain. Uh, the Piracy Charm of his first play is a Vault Scourge or something. It's a Young Wolf. Okay. Well, good good for me, actually, because Young Wolf is just really not a whole lot of pressure, and drawing it deprived doesn't hurt either there. I will keep the Island and the Counterspell. So there's a target for the Pirates Charm, that's good. 
and another one. All right. Okay, so I think now, as long as I hit land drops, I win. So I'm going to go ahead and preordain. Find some more land, and sadly, I hate shipping counter spells to the bottom, but I'm going to ship them to the bottom. All right, so I got another land, and kill this query ranger. One of them. I think at this point he's got a lot of pump in his hand, and that's all that's holding him back. Uh, so is it Seagate Oracle? It's just Coast Watcher, isn't it? I could wait and see if he tries to sneak some pump spells in or something. But if I do that and he doesn't do anything, then I waste a turn. No, I'm just going to play Coast Watcher. This way, his pump spells don't do anything, and I have a blocker. All right, cool. So that's sort of what I thought. Um, all right, can I just ship the turn here? Play the counterspell accumulated knowledge game. Looks like he's flooding out too, so that's good news for me. Alright, so accumulated knowledge. Got a land, that's good. commenting on how uh, his control deck is drawing as many lands as it wants to. So I'm playing Spire Golem. Still not attacking with the Coast Watcher, though. Spire Golem's start going to start getting in there. I'm not counting my opponent out of the game at all, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh... So I think here I just block Quirion Ranger and Nettle Sentinel. That kills him. He's going to try and use a pump on the Nettle Sentinel to kill the Spire Golem, but I have a few counter spells I can hit. Yes, yeah, so there's the vines. Um, I think actually just repeal him now. This way, uh, another pump spell doesn't blow me out and kill my spire golem. And I get to draw a card. A drawing card is cool. So yeah, he replays his sentinel and anything else. Ooh. Well, that's spicy, but it doesn't actually help him too much because I've got this guy here, block. It will if he ever hits a Rancor or something. But. All right, so let's go Spargolum gets in there. And I think I'm just going to leave open double Counterspell here. We'll take a hit from the Noble Sentinel or something, but... I think that's okay. I want to draw another land before I play the second Coast Watcher. Have a double counterspell protection. Alright, so there's my double counterspell protection. Attacking with the Spire Golem. And play Coast Watcher.
This guy's majestic. It's like a big old dude. Yeah. I think I got this game won. And normally this should be a, actually a pretty darn bad matchup, but... <laughs> now I caught up on the land, so he's screwed. Yeah, like this is normally a, a fairly bad matchup for uh, Mono Blue Control, but it has it has the tools to win. It just needs the time. It needs your opponents to get either screwed or flooded. A Rancor is most certainly not allowed to happen. And let's play a Seagate Oracle, try and find another counter spell. But I'd found islands. That's okay though. Seagate Oracle is another f like fine blocker and it means it can start attacking with another Coast Watcher too. Yep, yep, yep. Groundswell as young wolf doesn't do anything. Gather courage on his metal sentinel does do something. Um <laughs> yeah, so I think he's actually given up um, with that attack, essentially. Let's comment Angry Critters. I mean, I'm not going to fight over a not-so-game-changing Gather Critch. It gives another turn, but I think in my position I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so yeah, I am attacking with three guys. That way I can just kill them in two turns. Just deprive or exclude whatever he plays here, and I win. <laughs> well, I mean, that that lets him survive a turn. I mean, sort of. It does let him survive a turn. should have attacked with all um, last turn. Yeah, that actually probably would have been better. But, uh, well, I guess I'm just attacking the Spire Golem this turn. You know, I should have attacked with the Coast Watcher too, this way for Jocelyn the Gleeful Sabotage, and I'm not, he doesn't get another turn. Okay, well, he didn't. That was a misplay on my part both those times that I didn't do that right, but, uh, yeah. Obviously just one-on-one -on -one blocking, and then... Not that I needed the accumulated knowledge, but I got it. So, and this is game. 
Give me a match. Thank you for watching.